with no further words, please give John Fetterman a warm welcome to Warren County Pride. opportunity with the marriage license out of Montgomery County to be the only and first elected official to solemnize a same-sex wedding you know and I'm like send it out let's do this let's do this you know do you remember who the governor was back in 2013 you know, my, my buddy Tom Wolf but it was actually Tom Corbett you know Tom Corbett threatened me with legal action they're like you go ahead and do that and you're going to be criminally charged I mean, can you Imagine the fact that we're, you know, eight years removed from being criminally charged for simply affirming everyone's right to love who you love. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, and I'm so proud uh, to have been a small part of that. And John and Bill, the couple that I married, they've been together for 13 years. And I would go on to do over two dozen same-sex weddings when it was still technically illegal. I was breaking the law. And these these couples were like the best examples of what marriage should be and is. And I can never understand why anyone would be opposed to that. I genuinely can. I still don't to this day. Now, we have marriage equality, but in Pennsylvania, we still don't have true, full, equal protection under the law for our gay and trans communities here in Pennsylvania. I don't understand that either. Why would you want to make anyone feel less than, or other, or any of these, these issues when they deserve the same basic protections that you know, somebody like me deserves? I'll never get that. And to promote that, thank you. To promote that, I started hanging pride and trans flags off of my office balcony in Harrisburg. Nothing, nothing controversial, nothing uh, out of the norm per se, but, but the Republicans actually passed the law banning me from doing that. I'm not joking. They literally passed the law preventing me from doing that. So every time I hang a flag on my balcony, they come and seize it, usually within an hour or two, you know? And I've gone through close to a dozen flags so far, you know? And I said, guys, it's really easy to get rid of my flags instead of seizing them. It's just pass equal protection under the law for our communities. You know? Like, is that too much to ask? You know? I I'll never understand that. So, I hate to say this, but I'm, I'm ashamed of our state that we haven't gotten there yet. You know? Governor Wolf and I will never stop pushing for that. And if I'm your next senator, I'll never stop pushing for that. I want to thank the organizers of this amazing event. Where are they? I, I've seen them out there. Are, are, are. So, uh, the commissioner, yeah. I, I just, I just want to say, like, how affirming and wonderful it is to come here and see this amazing event full of people from all over enjoying themselves, 
getting a chance to express themselves, and creating an environment of inclusivity and acceptance. And that needs to spread. That We need to get to a place in our pen, in Pennsylvania and in our society where it's no longer it's no longer an issue. And I'm never going to stop pushing for that until we get there. So thank, thank you for welcoming me and my wife here to this wonderful event. Thank you for organizing and creating this, this amazing event. And thank you for being a part of an event that would make any Pride Festival proud. Okay? So thank you very much for having me. Thank you.